And Craig Stoker from the West Texas Food Bank is live in our studio this morning to tell us more about Permian Basin and Restaurant Week and the Kids Farmers Market that's happening this upcoming weekend. There's a whole lot going on. I'm back, back in Orange, yes. Hunger Action Month. I love it. Still going on. We're, we're getting close to the end. It's been a lot of fun. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's such a, a great time, again, to raise awareness about hunger in our area and provide activities for, for lots of people to do. So, yeah. you know, Restaurant Week's been going on this week. It has been just an amazing time to eat and experience. And, and you know, you and I had a lot of fun. Oh going out to the garlic press so and much fun it just it, it's incredible the support we get from the community it is and i'm definitely still in a food coma right now the food was delicious last night they had <laughs> quite a few vegan options I actually did a whole story on that you were in that story craig i was in a, a tasting it was awesome <laughs> they have so many vegan options and i was skeptical at first but they were just phenomenal. Everything from the entree to the dessert. The appetizers. Oh. So I, I got a text on the way home last night from, from the owner of the garlic press, uh -huh. and she was concerned. She said, we're about to run out of the chocolate mousse. Oh, my god! It was that good. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely a unique take on well, garlic, it's, it, and it was mousse. chocolate mousse. It was but chocolate it was awesome. mousse. It was the vegan option, so it was made a little differently. She had creamed some banana, which the flavor came through with the chocolate just perfectly. Oh, and it was awesome. seriously, if y'all haven't been to the garlic press, go. Venezia's, Opal's Table, Barn Door, Sid and Sam's Original Steakhouse, Scratch Kitchen, mm -hmm. Coach Neal, and our friends in Fort Davis, the Blue Mountain Bar and Grill. Ah, I love all these options. And of course, 20% of the proceeds from every special menu ordered will go directly back to the West Texas Food Bank. And I think that's awesome. Right. So mm -hmm. you're, you're walking in, you know you're going to get three great courses, some even more. Yeah. I know Venetia's is doing a four course. They've got a pasta course, which is incredible. Oh, nice. You know what you're walking into. The menus are going to be priced at either $35 or $45. So you know kind of what you're going to spend. Mm -hmm. And you know that by enjoying this great meal, you're helping feed your neighbors who, who may be needing a little extra this month. Yeah, and this also goes toward a lot of different projects that you guys put on in the community, especially this one that's coming up, Kids Farmer's Market. Okay, I'm we, gonna need you to tell me how this one works. Okay, we <laughs> are so excited about this one. We're partnering with HEB to put on a, a Kids Farmer's Market. We want to provide a forum for the kids to come out and learn about where food comes from, that, that those beautiful fruits and vegetables they see at HEB, yeah. they, you know, they don't just come from the back. Right. Um, they, they had to come from somewhere that the carrots grew in the ground, potatoes come from the ground, that, that fruit comes from trees. And through this partnership with HEB, we're going to be able to open up the, the food bank in Midland, and it's going to look like a farm stand. Oh, and I they'll be that. able to come in. We're going to have um, people from Keep Midland Beautiful and the Sibley Nature Center, um, the tree keepers and the beekeepers, and, and really... Uh, Lots of activities. Farmer Troy from Odessa is going to be there yes. to answer all sorts of questions I love Farmer um, Troy. about food. <laughs> so, you know, come out. It's going to be on Saturday from 10 to 1. Kane de Oro is going to be out there with their amazing pizza. So we look forward to seeing everybody. Well, thank you so much for being in our studio this morning. After a quick commercial break, we'll have a final look at weather for you and some more news headlines. Stay with us.